After going on draft and still finding a way to have an amazing rookie season, almost getting 1,300 yards with eight touchdowns and not even mentioning the receiving side, and also getting the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. But now it's free agency, it's finally time to decide what team I want to join for next season. Now the team I decide to join for this next season is the... Now look, man, I was just weighing out my options. Philly was just the best option for me, you know? Now coming to Philly, I get to be a number one back. So instead of being a backup, I'm the number one, so I have all the touches down there. And because I'll be able to use a lot more different types of runs that I didn't get to use in my rookie season, like stretch plays, more power runs, and stuff like that. But just to make sure I was good for the season, Coach decided to put me in, let me play most of the third game of the preseason. And what I didn't expect to happen was Jalen Hurts actually decided to join a different team before I got to sign. So I was thinking I was going to be able to play with him. Because when I was thinking about Phil, I was like, okay, so Miles Sanders went to a different team last season. You know what I'm saying? Me and Jalen Hurts had that little, you know what I'm saying, QB running back thing, little duo. But instead, Jalen Hurts ended up leaving. But good thing is Aaron Rodgers ended up signing with us right after I ended up signing here in Philly. But he's a little bit older. He's not as good as he used to be. Just hopefully he's the same A-Rod at least somewhere near that. Because I know who I am and I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to produce. I will always get my yards. I always get my stats. But at the end of the day, it's going to be on the quarterback to determine if we can win games or not. But then back to the family thing. My family didn't want to live in Philly, so I just bought them a house in New York. And I mean, I, I feel them. I, I kind of don't like living in Philly either, you know. But it's I'm only on a one-year deal, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. But all in all, we should be able to at least make the playoffs. We have too much talent on this team. There's no way we lose. And then we're also in a division where we should at least be able to get the first or the second seed because the Giants and the Commanders, they're not good teams. But at the end of the day, if Aaron Rodgers plays trash and he's not his old self, we could end up with a terrible season. I'm not going to lie. But all I'm going to say is it's going to be a crazy season for me. I was working hard, getting stronger all offseason. Starting to turn to more of a balance back. We win this little preseason game 35-28. It's just preseason. Don't really matter. But in this warm-up game, I got 17 attempts with about 100 yards in the touchdown. And on receiving it, I got five receptions with 95 yards in the touch. I right, mean, now we got the preseason over with. Finally got my debut on the Eagles. Got the commanders up first. Now, I'm not going to lie. This right here got to be a must-win game as I'm breaking off this big run on this stretch play getting out of bounds. Second to 10, we're going right back to the stretch. It worked last time. It's going to work this time. Drew not the first defender and finally gets tackled. Now, I'm not going to lie. Running against the commanders is going to be real tough. They got Chase Young and a lot of guys that can help stop the run. And this is the fact that Chase Young is a D end that can, like, at a certain angle can keep up with me. And it's crazy. But coming to the Eagles, I know that the Eagles have a top O line. So that's why I'm expecting to get throughout this season. A-Rod didn't get a patent touchdown on that drive right there. And these guys cannot stop the stretch. And I'm happy for that because it's my favorite run. Now, now, obviously, I did a lot of strength training, a lot of trying to build more muscle, build more weight so I could break more tackles. Because coming into the league, I was good 170, 175 weight. And I cannot be a running back in the league like that. Because even though I'm fast as hell and I can juke people out, eventually I'm going to get hit hard and it's going to hurt. Also, you wouldn't think that how fast and agile I am that I wouldn't know how to juke people last year. But literally, last season, the only way I was able to get past defenders was by doing spin moves. So I had to get in the lab with Saquon, and you know what I'm saying? He got my juke move a little bit better. We was doing a lot of footwork things because coming out of college, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really too good at footwork. So that was a big thing I needed to work on. But now I'm real dangerous in the open field as I come in and get my first touchdown as a Philadelphia Eagle. Up 28 to 7, we're kind of just stat panning at this point. Just, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get the clock down. Yeah. And honestly, coming into this game, I thought the commanders would be way better at stopping the run. But it's an easy 5-6 yards every time. And sometimes them 5-6 yards turn into 12 to 15 because these guys cannot tackle, especially their DBs. So we're going to win this game 28 to 7. Easy win. I had a big first game, 24 attempts, 194 yards and a touchdown. Now it's week two, we got the Detroit Lions, you know what I'm saying? They got they got a young D-line, we're going to see how they do. First and ten, you know we're going to the stretch run. Y'all already know I'm too fast, getting the easy first down. Now another thing I got a lot better at last season as the season went on was ball carrying. The way I hit the holes that the O-line creates got so much better. One of the best things about being an RB1 is I actually get to be on the field in the red zone, getting another touchdown. I love it.
Because last year, because I was a running back too, Nick Chubb was the one, and every time I got the team down the field, he got to get the touchdown. And honestly, I would have stayed on that team as a backup because I was having a great season. I had a great season on that team, but like things was happening. Like one of the main reasons why I decided I didn't want to stay on that team as a backup was because like it was like a lot of bad decisions, a lot of bad coaching decisions. Especially in the playoffs, like we could have probably made the Super Bowl if they just played me instead of sitting me for most of the game. And I ain't gonna lie, I started growing a little ego when I was having an amazing season. I was actually having a better season than Nick Chubb, so I mean, you know. Like the most I probably did was just ask for a few more carries, you know what I'm saying, give me some carries in the red zone, but they wasn't fucking with it. So I done made it my mission this season to try to get 2,000 rushing yards and probably 15 to 20 touchdowns, we'll see. We win game two against the Lions, 28 to 14. Where I had another good game, 18 for 121 in the touchdown. Also getting five catches for 38 yards. Now this right here, this is a divisional rival, a team that's actually gonna be able to compete, the Cowboys. First team, we're going with a little stretch play, but they linebackers is really on that. Like they're actually athletic. We're gonna have to see how we get through this. We got to hope A-Rod plays good for the rest of this game because he already started selling. It's already down 13 to zero right now because he want to throw picks. And now coming into the third quarter, we're down 20 to fucking zero. I'm having a great game. Breaking tackles, getting good yards, but the quarterback is just trash. Like, just look at this run. First and 10, O-line blocking good, everybody blocking good. And somehow, Leighton Vander Esch catches me. How? It's the fourth quarter. We finally got a touchdown because Aaron Rodgers want to play like shit. And I'm um, getting this little easy first down real quick. But yeah, we tried to come back. We ended up losing this game 20 to 14. Aaron got to play better. The rookie, the rookie backup, I think Hinton Hook is our backup. He going to have to come in. Aaron with a very mid game. Only 100 some yards, two touchdowns in the pick. And I ended up with 12 rushes for 87 yards, no touchdown. All right, now it's week four. We got the Buccaneers. They have no Tom Brady. They don't have a quarterback. Can we win? Buck started this game off with a quick and easy touchdown in the first quarter. I'm trying to beat these linebackers off the edge and try to get the first, but can't get it. First and 10, we get a little inside running. I'm trying to get a little jig, juke somebody, but I end up fumbling. My first fumble of the year, we, we, can, we cannot have this. We cannot be fumbling because then everybody fucking sucks. Like, we at least need one person on this team to be good. Like, right now, I don't know what's going on, but we've been, like, losing games. We should not be losing. I'm fighting for this first, but I do not get it. Ever since I became a running back one, I haven't really been in the receiving game too much, but getting these first down here. First and goal, trying to get this touchdown right here, but I don't end up getting it, and coach ends up putting the power back in. Defense ain't getting a stop, so it'd be nice if we scored this drive as I easily get the first down, juking the defender, breaking the tackle, and finally getting taken down. Now, I'm going to say, the main reason I came here is because how good the old line is, and look at how they blocking, getting the easy first down. Then first and 10, another great blocking performance by this old line as I get another easy first down. Second and goal, the old line opens up a big hole, getting an easy touchdown. Both teams end up getting three points in the fourth quarter, so now we're in OT, getting an easy first down. But then after that, Aaron Rodgers ended up throwing a pick. Uh, we ended up losing at 23-7. Yeah, man, this is crazy. Baby, I had a pretty good game. 19 rushes, 116 yards, and a touchdown. Another divisional game, the Giants. Let's see how this shit go. On first and 10, we run a stretch play, my favorite running play, and we try to get the first, but gets tackled. Then on second and third, I'm trying to get the first down, and this guy's coming off a good angle, good pursuit angle, can't get that shit. First and 10, we're doing an inside running. Good thing I did not fumble here. All these blue jerseys and nobody tried to punch the ball out. First and 10, we're doing another inside run, and I'm coming up. We got the safety, easy juke, and the guy comes to get on my back, slowed me down a little bit, but got a good amount of yards. It's first and 10, and this is what I mean. This nigga Aaron Rodgers ran backwards and still threw the ball, and that shit ended up being picked off. And it, good thing I'm fast as hell. Cause if I wasn't, that would have been for six. And now we're down seven to zero. It's third and two, because Aaron Rodgers wants to be a dickhead. But we're on the getting up the field, second down run the Texas route, getting the easy touchdown. Y'all know how I do on receiving shit. Giants somehow ended up scoring before the half with only like 40 seconds left. I tried to make some shake, didn't work. And honestly, I talk shit about a rod but here I fumbled again. Yeah, this fumbling shit gonna have to stop. I'm not gonna lie. 
we're now losing 27 to 14 and uh i can say that my fault a rod fault the team's playing bad but ain't nothing stopping me from getting a little bit of stats on third down we still run this ball because i'm getting the first down easily but yeah yeah we, we got blown out this game 35 to 14 we're gonna have to bounce back we we on a losing streak right now like, I damn near had 20 rushes with only 85 yards. That, you know what I'm saying? And receiving only had two catches for 22 yards and a touchdown. I am as week six. We need to end this losing streak. We got the Panthers. Panthers scored their first drive at second and nine, and we doing a stretch play. Almost getting the first down. Now, on third down, I'm on a little, I don't even know what route I'm on, but I had to improvise a little bit, run up whatever the fuck I just ran to get the first down. And, you know, it was worth it. Second and 12, and they D-line, and linebackers was on this shit, and somehow I ended up turning nothing into something. It's third and seven, and this game right here is when I really started getting back into my receiving ways. We need to win this game, so I'm going to have to be like a CMC type of guy again. Because at first, becoming a running back one, I was getting more carries, so I wasn't really incorporated into the receiving game like I was before. But obviously, since A-Rod can't see receivers, he going to have to see me. Going in for another touchdown. This is our chance to take the lead as the Panthers only got three points, but A-Rod throws up this dumb ass pass, and this is one of the biggest reasons why we are not winning games right now. So now we're down 10 points instead of three, and we could have scored that job probably as I juke the first defender, use my speed, and get up the field. It's about to be halftime. We need to score at least three points here, but Aaron Rodgers, guess what he does? He does what he does best and throws a fucking pick when we didn't even need to force it all the way up there. He could just like did something that wasn't that dumb. Coming into the third quarter, we're now fighting our way into trying to win this game now. So I get the easy first down. Less than three minutes left in this game and we're down 10 points. We need to like score fast, like next play type shit. Cause I ain't gonna lie, if we lose the game right here, I don't know how our season gonna go. Cause we just losing games we should not be losing. A-Rod finally becomes A-Rod and throws his dot right here, making it a one score game. Demons played amazing, giving us one minute, but with no timeouts to try to get down the field, and Aaron Rodgers throws this hot dot down the field, making it a lot easier to score now. First and 10, and obviously I'm his favorite receiver, so he throws it back to me in the flats, I get the easy first down. Second and 10, and I'm proud of Aaron Rodgers for throwing this dot over this linebacker in the game winning touchdown. Let's fucking go. We break our losing streak. Beating the Panthers 28-24 in a very fucking good win all around. Let's continue this shit. I had a pretty good game on the ground. 15 attempts for 82 yards and a touchdown. But receiving 5 catches for 115 yards and a touch. Amazing game. After week 6, I'm second in rushing yards in the league at 685. And Josh Jacobs is going crazy. He already has 12 touchdowns to my 4. We're going to see how it gets at the end of the year. I also got a lot of receiving, so, you know. From what y'all seen, do y'all think Chase could end up with 2,000 yards and close to it at the end of the season? And also, let me know how y'all feel about his free agency decision.